WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 4 p.m. Eastern time on Friday as we reach that closing bell. And boy, oh boy, we've given back most of the day's gains in the S&P. We'll jump over in a moment. But the market not liking the details or maybe the lack of details of any potential trade deal, partial trade deal between U.S. and China. We just had the S&Ps, folks, go from above 29.90. We're now trading at 29.65. You're talking about a solid 30 S&P points over the span of the last 20 minutes. Pretty remarkable. We'll start things off. Let's see where we are in the markets right now. We got the Dow Jones. It's moving quickly as we speak. Up about 317 points, trading at 26,813. S&Ps up about 31. That number moving quickly, though. That has it at 29.70. That's going to be up about 25. NASDAQ up 106 points. That's 1.3% trading at 8,057. But we're going to jump right into it. We'll pull up the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. And there's what I'm talking about. Check out that acceleration from 3.40 p.m. Eastern Time. Pretty remarkable that we trade so much lower. And there is the headline that President Trump saying that the U.S. has come to a substantial phase one deal with China. President Trump speaking alongside Vice Premier Liu in the Oval Office. That is how this started. And boy, oh boy, you see the Dow trade from 26,970. We're now 200 points off that level, 26,755. NASDAQ 100. I mean, you look at it, folks. We're back to right where we started the 930 trading down day. Now, we were already in higher territory, and that's why the markets are going to finish up about a percent. But boy, you got to take consideration into how this thing just fell apart in the last 20 minutes. NASDAQ 100 goes from 79.17 to 78.46. S&Ps, as I said, 29.92, now trading 29.66. Crude oil with some volatility today, currently at 54.66. There's your gold contract. Gold catching a bid, but not too dramatic of a bid in light of what's happened into the market. Gold at 14.90. And the euro US dollar currently trading at 110.35. Jumping back to the SPs, everything seems like it is fluid. We'll back this up for some context. There is your Wednesday night low of 28.83. Doesn't look like that dramatic of a pullback, but nonetheless, S&Ps give back about 30 points in a heartbeat to end the trading week. Folks, thanks for tuning in. We're going to have programming coming up in terms of a replay, but we look forward to seeing you back here Monday morning. Quite an end to the trading week, but we'll see where we start off live at 9 o'clock Monday morning. Have a great weekend.